you have a business idea to start, but you don't know where to begin from. I hear you. In this video, we will discuss 10 proven steps that will help you start your business today as a youth the right way. And we start right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon. My question for you today is, do you really want to start a business? What are the plans that you have put in place, apart from the one that I'm about to give you? Hit the comment section below and provide me your answer. Thank you. But first, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon as I give you info on what um, personal finance, investment and what entrepreneurship on a weekly basis as a youth and what as an entrepreneur. Okay, so now let's dive into the steps and break it down so that you will get everything hot I'm trying to say here. Okay, the number one is what? Do your research. Most likely you have already what identified a business idea. So now it is what? Time to balance with it. It is time to balance it with a little reality. And it is important to do a little research about the market that you are about to enter. There are a number of ways to identify this from the market, including what research and what try and error. So as you explore the market, there are some questions too that you need to answer for yourself so that you'll be able to what know your right and the left and know how you remove. These questions include what are they anticipating a new product? Who needs it? Is there a company offering similar products in the market? And will you fit into the market? All these questions need to be answered by you yourself so that you'll be able to know how to what? Enter into that market the right way. The second step is to make a plan for your business. In order for your business idea to be reality, you must have a plan. A business plan is the backbone of what? The success of your business through from its uh, startup to its growth and you must make a plan from financing your business through to it what attracting what customers to buy the product that you are selling and be able to what get your returns back from the business that you are doing and avoid any losses because any business that you will do what needs to earn profit and that's the aim of every entrepreneur do not run any business to lose it is the purpose or the profit is the main purpose of every entrepreneur and if you don't have any idea of any business plan check the description below i have a business plan for you the third step is to what plan your finances because your business needs, needs money to operate um let's do it this way Starting a small business does not require a lot of money, but it will require some initial what, investment. Put together a one-time startup cost that will at least cover your what, expenses on licensing, uh, equipment, branding, as well as what you will need to keep your business running for at least 12 months, that's one year. And such things are like your rent, your maybe utilities that's water bills and what light bills um employee salaries and what your own salary because you have to pay yourself aside from the business money that you are getting now that you have a rough numbers in your head there are a number of ways that you can fund your business including loans that small business loans grants from governments um and money from family and friends crowdfunding and hey I can introduce one to you if you think you don't have any hot place to get money to fund your business and that is EDH Recycler. This company helps you raise capital and it's a fundraising, it's a free fundraising system that will help you raise up to I think 100,000 or so with a startup fee of only um, 30 Ghana cities. So you know what, the link is in the description section below. Just grab it and then what? Start raising the capital and build a business today. Now that you have planned your, you have planned your finances for your business. It is time to choose what the structure of your business. And this is not the building or anything that you want to do. It is just 
about choosing from a sole proprietorship, a partnership, or a limited liability. And I recommend you choose for a sole proprietorship or a partnership so that you'll be able to start it with your own idea and then what the help of some people so that you'll be able to grow from there gradually and then register it as a as a great uh, a, a whole company so that people will be able to, uh, to recognize it from the from its inception and get a trust from your customers and also to avoid losses of your number five is to what choose a business name and register it now that you have researched into the market and plan your expenses to the i think the business structure and everything you have to choose a name and then register it so that people will recognize you by that business name register it with the registered general's department and then you are free now this one too will move us to the system that is what be permitted before get a permission from the local authorities and the government from the area in which you operate so that there wouldn't be any interference from them anytime you are operating your business this one just to avoid interference from outside people to your businesses and then have the peace of mind to run your business and enjoy your profit and make sure to put pay your taxes number seven is to choose your accounting system small businesses mostly run effective when there are systems in place your accounting system is necessary to what help you manage and create your budget your prices and rates um, conduct businesses with others and even your, your taxes this one will help you know the what allocation of every fund that will come into your business know the right and the wrong to do about your finances and what manage them well um, number eight is to what set up your business location business locations plays a vital role in the success of every business as a result you must choose the right place that will attract the market to you so that you won't run at, you won't run at any losses because remember that the business that you are starting its main purpose is to what make profit so in everything that you do, that should be at the back of your mind so that you're able to what, make the right decisions concerning the financial life of your business. And the location is one factor. Make sure to choose one location that will attract and then what, bring more customers to you to get your returns and the profit at the long run or in the short run. Okay, number nine is to what, get your team ready. Um, if you be hiring employees, this is the time to what hire them, and make sure you hire the right people for the business. And if you are not hiring anybody, I recommend you start with a family member or a friend that will help you push that your agenda or that will have the same agenda with you and push it to the top. It is almost done. We are finishing soon. Left only one step, and I can't wait to get to that step. Number 10 is to promote your business. Now that all is set for you to get to the road, and even by the 10, you have already set up the business. Now is the time to what, promote it. Let people know about the business. And there are not a lot of ways to uh, let people know your business. Through telling people around you or in the society that you live, or in the area in which the business operates, using social media nowadays is very, very, lucrative because through social media you can make a lot of customers and a whole lot even radio stations tv stations and you can be doing the radio stations and tv stations when you think or you see your business improving because they require a lot of money to do advert from them and those people to take a lot of money so you promote the business as fast as you can and then make sure you get the right audience to what, promote your business to. And this is the end of this. And you know what? Um, this is your tip. The tip that I'm about to give you will help you what, build your business to the level that 
you yourself will be happy about it. And that is what um, targeting the right audience. In every business that you do, you need to target the right audience to what? Give them the business or the product that they need. If you are cooking, maybe you are selling food or something, you don't need to go and sit at uh, maybe where, 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 where. You don't need to be at a mosque or something to be selling your food. It needs to be market or a canteen or a restaurant or maybe a hotel that people will buy from there always. You don't need to be somewhere that they sell phones or computers to expect your market to be hot moving. Make sure you set the right audience in the right place to hot operate. And this one will help you move as fast as you can and then into as fast as you can because money is what you need and that is why you started that business. Lastly, you must keep in mind that success does not come overnight. Use the plans that you have created and hold. See your business grow gradually and increase your chance of what success. Know that success is a journey. Okay, if you find this video helpful, kindly share, comment, like, and then hold. Bring your friends who might need this idea to also start their business. Do not keep it alone. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscription button below and then hold. click the bell icon. Share to your friends, comment, and like it. For now, bye-bye. See you next time.